until Buhari leaves office, Nigerians will not value the excess of loans we borrowed. Fashola, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to the lesson. Please listen to the end. Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tudif Raji Fashola, has said that Nigerians will not value the essence of borrowing under the President Mohamed Buhari's administration until his principal completes his tenure of eight years in 2023. The former Lagos State Governor, who became a Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, immediately after serving the state for eight years, said that it is not the President Mohamed Buhari that is taking loans, but Nigeria does. He said his principal has said the, said the positive impact of the ongoing project for financed by the laws will materialize until he leaves office. The two terms of Governor of Lagos State made a disclosure while he was having an exclusive chat with BBC Yoruba correspondents and a video of the chat was published Monday on the official Facebook of the Media House. Mr. Fashola likened the loans taken by Nigeria to a bachelor or spinster who will not value the essence of marriage until they have a set of twins or triplets while still living in a single room, adding that life will be so miserable for them and that life could only be meaningful for them when they eventually move to a three-room or two-room apartment. The minister, who is by profession a lawyer and a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, also maintained that existing infrastructural facilities in the country is overstretched and insufficient for the ever-increasing Nigerian population. Hence, there is an urgent need to borrow to expand the facilities to mitigate the shortage. Those children, we are saying, will bear the burden of a loan taken so far. Should we wait until they are born and reach 40 years old before the federal government should start building the infrastructure, or should we plan before them, before the plan for them, I beg your pardon, before their birth, so that they can arrive into a meaningful life? Which one is better or sensible out of this? The Minister of Works and Housing said he always asks Nigerians who constantly laments about the country's loans for infrastructural development to choose between preparing for the generation of the unborn children of the, of the country remains or the country remains it, as it is in terms of infrastructural decay. Mr. Ba Babatunde Raji Fashola finally said it could be wrong for a parent who is expecting a new baby in the family not to prepare for the incoming baby simply because he, do, he does not want to incur debt. Okay. This is what um, Babatunde Raji Fashola has said. Hmm. Okay. Do not mind them, Honorable Fashola. They are a bunch of fools who lack foresight. Hmm. Okay. God will draw all PDP members that squander trillions of dollars for 16 years with nothing left and nothing to point. All looted. They left us with no opinions, options, I beg your pardon, than to borrow, to fix the rot they left behind. It is wicked using Nigerian's name to borrow loans that will be shared among a few people. That means that the loan's value will capsize on next generation. No problem, we are ready to carry the cross. Mm -hmm. With all the loans collected, Nigeria is in the most worst condition in economy, security, infrastructure, health and education. Fashola has disappointed Nigerians. Two-term governor becoming a minister, that is backwardness, that, ha that has been Nigerian story. The Senate said the federal government should declare state of emergency on our roads. Here is Fashola with his face <laughs> trying to appreciate his headmaster in Fashola's strides. Time will tell, sir. However, the infrastructure are in more deplorable state for lack of maintenance. We should learn to build and maintain the existing one. That is the best way to go. What is the advantage of borrowing money without paying back? Mr. Fashola, I disagree with you. Despite the borrowings, Nigerian roads are bad. Then, how shall the loans be repaid? What is your percentage? Oh my goodness, somebody borrowed money. Now, loans are being borrowed. I just hope that when these loans were taken, they were given projects. They were not borrowed on just let us borrow first, then we plan. It has been planned that such loans will be used for some specific purposes. And of course, the way to pay back that those particular loans have been strategized. That is very important. You are taking a loan and at the end of the day, 
The issue is so that you can solve your problem and at the end of the day, pay back the loan. I hope this particular part of paying back the loan is in the if is it this administration agenda or rather you are borrowing loans and at the end of the day the loans are going to be left to be paid by those that are going to be succeeding the government if it is that way then it is totally wrong nigerians have not been able to see that this is what is causing these loans this is what is causing it they have not been able to see that oh this particular project is what or what brought about the the borrowing of funds they have not been and they have been complaining and they have not been communicated to which is wrong which is really really wrong the people are worried you're borrowing money you're borrowing funds you're borrowing a lot of things now they are very worried how are you even intending to pay this loan back? Some of them will ask you. What are the loans for? If you are saying it's for infrastructure development, where? Which infrastructure development? Where, where is it? Because a lot, a lot of things are deteriorating. A lot of things. If you turn to the medical parts or the health set of the country, a lot of things need, need um, funds to be treated. Need funds to be able to take care of them. If you turn to the educational sector, people need funds. If you turn left, if you turn right, the funds are needed. Now, what are they borrowing for? Is, does the borrowing exist in such a way that when immediately this money comes in, those particular areas where they have been, where, where, where they, they, there is need to be touched them, I mean, I beg your pardon, there is need for them to be touched or need for them to be addressed, addressed immediately. Is that it? If that is the case, then fine. But um, another issue is now where or how will these particular loans be paid for? How will they be paid for? How exactly? Have there been a strategy have there been any strategy put out to say, oh, okay, this particular loan I have collected for this number of years. This is um, the number of uh, um, this is the number of years that it will take me to be stabilized, and this is the number of years it will take me to get the money and pay back. How do I pay back? What is the strategy I'm using? Am I using? Am I paying back at once, or am I, now, am I paying back instrumentally? All this should be put into consideration so that they don't put the future generation, the um, 